I miss chai. Make some. It's hot. Make it cold. I'm sure there's nice a cold chai. Starbucks iced chais. Done. There you go. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction unit. It's our Corbin. Can you call us on Instagram? Oh, so cute. Follow us on our personal YouTube channel. It's right down there for you. Link. Yeah. Yeah. Today we are doing another uh, behind the scenes kind of thing uh, where the director talks about the the film. Like we did what? With, like we did with Barfy. I don't want anything that's artistically relevant. Give me stuff that's fluffy and unimportant. Okay. Okay. That'll be the other video of the day. Great. <laughs> All right. Who is this? This is uh, Abhishek. Oh, cool. From uh, Yes. Says less. Chabe. Chabe from Otapunta. Ota and uh, um, uh, come on now. Uh, did, did Abhishek also, there's something else we just saw and I'm, I'm feeling like it was Patalok or he directed a that? couple of other things. Yeah, there's a couple of other things he's directed oh, there, that we've watched recently. There are, I don't think it was Patalok, I could be wrong. Um, and no, I'm not confusing him with the casting director Abhishek. He's the producer of the new Nawaz. Oh, he's the director of um, Death in the Gunge. Oh! Yes. Oh, he no. produced Death in the Gun. I was going to say it was Lady yeah, who, but who he directed, directed that. Uh, and uh, wrote Centuria. That's what it was. But wrote. wait, go down to TV. Oh, I was wrong. That's what it was. You're right. Yeah, it was... Um, no, he's associate director. Okay. Yeah, it was that. That's the thing we recently saw that he was directing. That's right. Good. But this is him talking about uh, Ota Punjab. Good. Um, and so... And inside the scene, we'll see something with uh, Ali or Shahid. Here we go. Hi, everyone. This is Abhishek Chaube. I'm the director of the film Urta Punjab. Today, I'm here to talk about a particular scene from my film, uh, which is a scene in which uh, Alia's character um, called Mary Jane meets Tommy. Uh, oh, great scene. Shahid And Your first uh, time the scene involves oh, great Mary scene. Jane's meltdown. Oh, I love that song. This is the first uh, time uh, that these two characters meet, uh, Tommy and uh, Mary Jane. Their stories have been uh, separate so far. Great and uh, this is the first time, and in fact, one of the two times they meet in the film. Uh, the scene in question begins at a point when Tommy has finished his rant. He is completely unaware of the effect that it is having on this girl, you know, because he's He's telling her that life is over, mal khatam party over, go home, it's all over, you, it's, you're, you're screwed, it's all done with. And he doesn't have any idea of what effect it's going to cause her, he's completely, he's completely lost out of him. It's typical of Tommy because he's also a very selfish person. And, and this girl starts literally bawling, you know, in front of him and he's, he's, he's flummoxed, he doesn't know why she's behaving. I remember that. walks out and we, what we do in the shot is we follow her on the steady cam and uh, uh, what, uh, in terms of lighting what we try to do is give Ali a clear path which is uh, the, the space that we had, we, were, we gave her a path on the left of that space where we have this white light uh, flowing in which may, puts her in a cool light nice and right Tommy there comes too. out behind her and stands behind her has that sodium vapor light which is warm. So they're in two different light zones and, and we follow her on the steady camera. I remember we had six or eight takes of this. The whole crime she had to do in that single shot and Alia who's very, very chilled out, very, very relaxed on set, no matter how difficult the scene might be for her. She was a little anxious about it. And once, once we couldn't get the camera right a couple of times, I, for the first time noticed a slight irritation on her also because it was a very difficult shot for her. And you know, we did that steady cam shot where she does the cry and like all uh, the time. those guys who were chasing Tommy Which is why had been chasing Tommy. We just watch. Uh, from the concert sure, scene that the sequence, so uh, they come and beat him. And uh, for a little while, Mary Jane is completely unaware of what is going on. <laughs> you know, she's so lost in her own um, 
sort of misery that she doesn't paint. She can't even hear what's going on in the background. And uh, she comes really close to the camera. So it's almost like a, a deep focus shot where you know you have the one character in the foreground and uh, the other, there's some important activity ha happening in the background. After a little while, when she's up close in, in, in the lens, she realizes there's something going on in the background. And she turns around and she sees what is going on behind and she sees this guy beaten up. And for reasons that I would leave best unexplained, she just picks up that little piece of bottle that she had with sharp edges and just runs and starts oh. beating those guys up. And lucky for us, uh, hockey is a popular sport in, in, in Punjab. and. Uh, it's also often used uh, in street fights. So uh, it was a natural thing that these guys must have gotten into the car and opened the boot and gotten their hockey sticks out to this guy, this, give this character Tommy a sound beating. In this scene, there was uh, there was A, the action of the hockey and then B, those boys before that were beating him up. Uh, they were a talented bunch of boys, but they were extremely nervous uh, about hitting uh, Shahid too hard and I was like just go for it and Shahid said just go for it and they were like no no but yes, shit. and uh, <laughs> and my um, fight master was getting furious on them and unnecessarily you know shouting at them very loudly. He is a star, uh, like, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I know but still yeah. the director and, and the actor saying go for it, go for it. And the fight, the stunt coordinator. Mm -hmm. Legs just come really close to him but they don't really hit him. But uh, um, we did some VFX work on it and it got it like this. <laughs> Um, they had to fix it in both. They didn't want to think they had to fix it. While sporting about it, I think he did get kicked a couple of times. Ooh. I love this scene. The fact that he just wanted to. Yeah. When you watch it, it turns movie. a street fight into a love moment. It's like, I like this girl. It was for this scene that we had decided that we'll make this character a hockey player, Alias character a hockey player, because. Uh, she wields the hockey stick like a, like a professional and um, uh, while she's also beating them, she, she's doing it in a way, she's doing it in a way that only a hockey player could. The way she holds the hockey stick, the way she, you know, there's a shot in which uh, the stone is kept and she scoops it up and um, the guy gets hit. I mean, that's typical of a hockey player. Ali doesn't play any hockey in this, uh, in this film, but she, um, she rehearsed and she learned how to play hockey for several months before we went on screen for the scene so that she could do it. At the moment nice job, she comes in, absolutely no background score. When she's crying and she turns around and looks at him, goes, and that's when the score begins. And what begins is the opening refrain uh, of uh, Ik Kuri. It's like my kind of girl. People have said that there is a romantic track between Alia and uh, Shahid, uh, Tommy and Mary Jane's character. Uh, I do not, I, I don't know, I mean, if there is any romance between the two, maybe it will happen after the film. I mean, in the real world, yeah, actually, just, given where she comes there. from, yeah, where he comes from, there might be some sort of infatuation, but it's not going to really work, you know, I mean, uh, you know because of their really, really disparate backgrounds. I, I don't know if it's romance as such. Uh, there is. There is affection for sure because there is understanding between these two people. I get you, man. I get who you are, you know. And I think that's what's really happened between Tommy. Uh, between uh, well, that's what's really happened to Tommy more than even Mary Jane. It's one uh, drug addict reaching out to the other one and saying, "Yes, I understand you. I get you," you know. So in, in, in our preparation, Ali has uh, a fire. I miss fire. watching her work, yeah. She Apart from the emotional and the theoretical aspects of the character that she needed to understand, there was a lot of other work that she needed to do. Uh, fact, how to, uh, how to get like the accent right, how to get the body language right, uh, how to uh, understand the life of, of, of the character that she is playing, you know, working the fields and what kind of life it is. And uh, Ali worked really hard on that. And we did a lot of uh, readings, you know, a lot of readings. Pankaj Tripathi Sahu, who is himself an accomplished actor, was her trainer, who not only taught her uh, 
in the dialect it also he also helped her understanding the character in terms of her background where she comes from what is her world what her world might have been before what? she came to he was her her acting coach through all the readings her dialect got better but when yeah. we used to come to this scene and this meltdown i mean i don't think we read it more than once or twice because what both of us felt that doing it too many times uh, would uh, sort of um, uh, kill the spontaneity of it and i told her also that do not worry about the dialect you know i mean dialects are important getting the getting the lahja and the accent and the dialect right is very very important for authenticity and feel but there are certain things that are more important than that and when it comes to really the the, the question at that moment i mean i would rather much rather go with the feel uh, the meaning of it all rather than the but i think she nailed it uh, I, I think even if she is oh. fumble on a dialect a couple I, of times in the film, yeah, yeah. here she yeah, got banged. We can't say the dialect. Banda hai ham, hockey champion, district khele. So chahe state khelenge, to acha time aa jayega. Main jaake babu ji tere humne, mar gaye. Host mein aaye ham, to aaj mein hockey ke jagah hasiya aa gaya. Ghar baar chhod ke pahunch gaya ab tak hota gaon. Kek mein majuri kar di. Sala itna aasman se upar gir gira. Utha ke sochi ki ye bech de, to acha time aa jayega. Bas. it was literally she just vomited it out you know uh and uh, how uh, shahid is looking completely thunderstruck with what's going on i don't think he's acting because all of us were uh, like that on set because we were quite taken with what she was doing um i actually didn't even feel like cutting it because i had thought of doing it in three man indications after the first take and i kicked myself for it because we had the wild on set i thought i i just wish i had taken a close up of this because you know then i wouldn't need any other frame but she was like no we'll do it i was worried how are you going to get that level of because it takes a lot from an actor mm-hmm. you know when you have to uh, when you have to perform like this you're screaming at the top of your lungs you're talking about something you're talking about your entire history i mean you know the, 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 the moments like this it totally becomes personal for the actor you know the one thing that has that she hasn't ever felt in her life and perhaps she feels, feels the need to is feel genuine affection affection feel genuine love uh, romantic even to ko pata hai ko dua ka ho raha hai sir pata hai tumko pata hai pata hai ye chhod ke sab kuch hua Hi there if you like this video please subscribe Woo! and comment. Wants me how much I enjoyed that movie. Yeah and how much I enjoy Miss Alia. Yeah. Cuz we haven't seen her in, in anything in a while. Well cuz obviously she's she's newer still. Yeah. I mean obviously you know she's a she's a star child obviously but she's in terms of her great we're obviously she started out in student of the year obviously that's not the kind of work that i'm sure she wants to do or that no but group. everybody yeah. starts off with stuff on their that's resume where that's where we're into so the stuff that she's like probably the best in uh in terms of what she'd like to be known as is we've seen most of it mm-hmm. um there's a few that we have and i think kapoor and sons i think that's with shahrukh khan i think and her I yeah i don't remember i remember reacting to the trailer uh, i believe um But uh yeah I do miss her as well. I, I I'm hoping we'll get to see the Sanjeev and Sally one that yeah. gonna, that she's in. That she's in. Which yeah, she was a gangster girl. She was instrumental in the birthing of things with our understanding about how great Indian cinema was. And she has a fire. That she does. No other actress I've seen has in in terms of Indian actresses. She, I agree. She has that fire. I agree. Uh, she has the same kind of fire in behind her eyes that Shahid has, which is why mm-hmm. it's so fun to watch them work. Yeah. And it's a fire that's not, you know, the great thing about Shahid and Alia is that I rarely see them acting. They're just yeah. they're in they're in the moment. Well, both of them obviously come from acting families. Yeah. And both have really talented parents. Yeah. <laughs> that are I mean, you can't think of the uh, a better teacher than right. to have uh, parents that are thespians. uh her father i believe and then i we know his father of is, course and then his stepmother as well uh-huh. is are both just amazing actors yeah and i enjoy these things i do too uh, makes me uh miss watching all of and, them and yes i understand what he's saying it, part of it is a budgetary thing because there are times where you get a moment 
and it can't be replicated. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, because there's this serendipitous thing that can take place where it was that moment, and even the actor themselves isn't exactly sure what transpired. But a good actor will be able to give you things over and over again without it being repet repetition or feigned or, or faked. And I think it's one of the reasons, and I mean, he's got the budget to do it, but Ridley Scott is known for using seven cameras when he films. Not everybody can spend the money Ridley Scott can spend and just say, hey, I wanna make sure I've got seven cameras running so that I've got my close up and I've got my over the shoulders and I've got my distance shot and I've got my jib and I've got, you know, yeah. most people have one camera that we're gonna work with it's, if they're doing a film. It's also great that Shahid wanted the people to they kick them and hit yeah, them. Yeah, oh, of course. Um, I mean, you understand you can't obviously touch their face. Obviously, right, you, you don't, don't want to actually hurt them. No, but the thighs. But, like, whenever I've done, like, fake fighting in, in theater or, or whatever, it's it helps an actor if they're actually hit in some way. Yep. So you're not like, uh <laughs> You can actually react because, oh, I'm actually being hit. Yeah, and it makes you also aware of the fact that is this scene playing for something that's real or fake? Yeah, it could look really fake and really bad. Well, he had to fix it in post. Which is why the director, the stunt coordinator, and Shahid all knew. Kick him. <laughs> Huh? There's pla they, and I'm sure they showed them, there's places you can kick him in his thighs, his calves, his back, yeah. that you can actually haul off and do a good kick. Yeah. Yeah. And not hurt him. Not hurt him. Um, but, you know. Anyway. I, more of these. Obviously, it's a star, and so I'm sure those are just extras, and they probably were looking up to easy, Yeah. It's easy for us to say, if we were on set and we had to, you know, oh, I would kick the shit out of Shahid. <laughs> not Shahid! <laughs> Dina, 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 dina,